How long do you think it will take to create this model in a ZBrush or a Blender with all its details on the front and the back with all the textures? Will you believe it? And I tell you, it took me less than 15 minutes to create this. Let me take you step by step and show you how I did this so you can do the same. Our 2D image as a reference. And I will show you two ways to do it. One, if you have a JetGPT, you need to go upload it to your photo. Specifies says use the photo as a reference and create, for example, action figure. In my case, I created um, character, what I wanted with my face, which is kind of very cool about this on a podium. And I like to do on a podium because I do like create uh, these models. Because yes, creating those 3D models, they come up with extremely high details and you can print them like this one, print in resin printer, and after you can paint them, used as a tabletop games or just collectibles. So right here, I create one. And you know what? We also needed different angles just to add more details. You can work easy just with one image, but as well, till we inside the chat GPT, all what I did do is specify says used exactly the same character, just showing me from back of the character. And there you go. Now we have this back pose for this character, which is provide additional details, how it's look from this angle. Well, if you don't have a chat GPT or you prefer to work more in your kind of environment, your own personal environment, well, you can do same things by utilizing Comfy UI. In Comfy UI, I'll recommend for you to use it context dev. All what you need to do in this case with a flux context, Upload it your photo image after type create the character and you can see right here it's create character for myself. Next you just need to go ahead and says exactly the same character only view from right or from back and after short time it will create for you those images. Just something like this. This create from photo and you can see back sides. So it does perform very well. It depends which kind of tool you like more. After we prepare those assets, we're ready to convert them inside the 3D. For this, I'm going to use online service from High Item 3D. This is a, one of the best service I ever found because it can produce so accurate and so high details images. It is ready just straight out of the generator. And recently they upgraded, they upgraded the models and they also provide now multi view. So you can upload it like front image. And remember, if you have it back, it's also will provide back. I will show you a different how they work, but tell you true, the image 3D, this first one, it's work excellent, just even without a back view. Okay, let's try two versions. One, if you have one image, all what you need to do, just click here, it says I'll click to upload your image. There you go. After this, we have an option to select the one. If you click down, you'll notice we have it 1024, the one low resolution and high resolution. Tell you true, even with low resolution, it's create incredible amount of polygons. Well, you will see when I show you on the mesh how it's work. And with a higher resolution, it's create stunning amount of detail. So you can actually print a very large figurines with very high details, but we're going to use low resolution. You also can enable or disable render textures. It is adding a little bit more credits, but it's actually a very reasonable price if you're going with this service. I'll provide for all my resources in the links down below in the description. If we're using multi-view, you don't require uploaded all of them, some of them options. Of course, we do have needed uploaded our front image. And they can, we can also upload it just our back image. From even this too, I think it's more than enough. But if you have more complex characters, you can upload it them from all three different figures. You are not just limited to hit item 3D to use in this. For example, you can use a different like Tripo, but personally I found the resolution that's much lower as a quality and amount of details. So they just does not come up as good at all. The high items 3D, it does produce better quality. Well, let me show you instead speak. So we'll go right here, for example, in history of the models that I created. And we can look on some of them and there's our model. Just look on the quality and details, how it's produced. And it is fully texture. If we turn off texture, we can look and look on this beard. And again, this is very low. This is a voxel resolution. It is not in highest. I'll show you example for the highest in a second. Notice our texture is generated. It's a 4K texture. 
If you don't like this model, how it's generated, you can regenerate for free up to three times. So technically you will have it about four render per one upload, which is very generous. Hey, and also when you're done render, you can always click and select different format to save it. Your open source format, OBJ, which also will include it in zip file, the all images. Still, which is, I use it also just directly out of there, going in a slicer and create this 3D figurines straight out. Or you can have it FBX format, so whatever you prefer to use it. Usually for me, I use it FBX because texture would be inside. It's just, you know, less work around and it's very easy import. And of course, STL when I needed to 3D printed them. Okay, this is one. Let's look like on a little bit bigger. This one example is high resolution and you can see right here voxel resolution is quite a bit high preview look on the beard look on those details like for example this shirt if we disable texture so it is very very impressive again on the quality and details what this can create let me show you the benefits of multi reference for example right here it's model it's look very good up front look very nice from that image and remember i showed this image we created with the uh, flux and context but if you look on the back, this is look total different. This is does not look like our original image. And for example, right here, you can see we have it reference with different. If we go on back, you can see the our code display properly. We have it belt now and we have it pouch just like in an image. So this is benefit of multi reference, multi image reference, because we can have a details, not just a flood. It does not mean this was producing bad result. It was very good result. But in some of the figures, I want more details on the back. I want like the buttons here. It's what have it in this. I want a belt with a special pouch. And here's another example. We did it with high resolutions for K. If we come closer, you can see amount of details it's created. It's look very beautiful Look at on this podium. It's look very, very good. It is not free service, but you do have it first trial. You can have it and tell you true per credits how much to use it. It's actually very generous. And I was using many different applications that allowed you to put it image and creating the only one that become less expensive than um, item 3D. It is when you run on your personal computer because that is a free but quality it's way far from what you can get here figurines that we just created there i'm going to look a little bit closer on the polygons and we'll just zoom in right there let's readjusting and you can see this is actually quite a bit mesh this is before we can um do repatography but even with this you don't need it if you're going and check on the model it does not have a broken um polygon so it does not have it open loops or other things and honestly from first when I started creating to this this is you can tell it is created by AI mesh it's not human created because we could reduce quite a bit but this is before even the reduction the mesh it's a very high details I'm really surprised and I'm really impressed how well this application was creating this 3d models I do want to say thank you Hydem 3D for sponsoring this video and provided credits so we can go ahead and test together and see how it's work. What do you think? Have you ever used this application before or you have it something even better? Thank you for watching this videos and I will see you next time. Bye.